Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome. Newbies in between them. Oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings, okay? I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember, to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings, okay? I am just blessed. And I am deeply appreciative. And I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy. And I am also raising two beautiful boys. But know that... Every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time, and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold, babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected, me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Hey, my babies. Hey, my darlings. So we're going to get right into the reading and see what is going on, okay? Please only take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? My readings are timeless, so whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. I want to thank each and every one of you always for your love, your support, your donations, your vibes, your beautiful energy, okay, that you send to me with the love and support. I send it back times a thousand. You know I do. You know I do. Now, if you do hear some like noise and water running in the background, you know, it's just my papito, you know, cleaning the bathroom. I love him. Okay. So don't worry about that. But um, again, I want to thank all of you for your support, all of you for your love and um, just rocking with me. Okay. If you haven't already, please go subscribe to Kyra LaRae's Love. That is my other channel. That's all about love and positivity when it comes to new relationships, existing relationships, reconciliation, okay? I'll be posting on there at least three to four times a week, okay? And then, of course, I'll post on this channel mainly almost every day, all right? So let's get to the reading. So um, at the bottom of the deck... We have, you know, of course, somebody or people talking shit, okay? As per usual is what I'm hearing. So you got people talking shit. That's the tea. That's the gossip. That's the word on the street. All right? Now, it could be good shit. It could be bad shit. But they're talking shit, okay? Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it's somebody that want to be you so bad. That is talking shit. I mean, it's just the same energy that keeps coming out in every reading. Um, somebody that pretty much cannot be you. They can't really figure you out. You're too private. Okay. You're to yourself. You do not deal with this person. For some of you, you don't even know this person. But they're talking shit because they want to be you. Cut and dry. Okay. Wants to be you. Acts like you. Dress like you. Copies everything you do. Okay, this could be some type of hustler, okay, or people could view this person as a hustler, all right, making it rain, focused on money, getting it. So I'm hearing fake flexor. So this is someone that is um, viewed as a hustler, but 
they're truly struggling and they're truly trying to watch you to impersonate you know pretty much what they have to do next to help their money situation is what i'm hearing okay they're also talking shit about your hustle okay you get money period point blank you have money or you will and this person is i'm trying to tell you they're trying to see how you're doing it so that they can copy yep let's see what else i'm hearing creativity muncher let's see what's going on what's the t what's the word on the street what's going on yeah this person wants to give you an offer i can't make this up y'all this person doesn't have access to your energy this person doesn't know what's going on with you at all okay only what you post so it's like this person wants to hustle you this person wants to see you know what other hustles that you have going on okay because they want to take it copy off of it okay we still have hustle at the bottom of the deck i feel like this person is going through financial you know decreases and this person is like desperate and trying to get back into your energy to see how they can take from you. But you don't deal with this person. And if you know who this person is, you know, this person is blocked indefinitely is what I'm hearing. But they still stalk you. They still watch you. They're still trying to get clues and hints on what you're doing, how you're doing it. Who's doing it with you is what I'm hearing. What's going on? Yeah, they're threatened. They're very bothered. <laughs> they're intimidated and they're threatened. Because, like, you're winning, okay? You're winning. If you are in the public eye, this person thought that whatever you do for work was probably the only thing you're doing, but it's not. You have multiple, you know, projects, opportunities, I'm hearing, you know, lines and streams of income. But this person may only see one. So that's why they're trying to, you know, I'm hearing smiling your face all the while they want to take your place, them backstabbers. But this person is a backstabber. They don't know what's going on. Like, even if this person is trying to spy through divination, they're blocked. So the next bold ass move that they are going to try to do is come towards you and smiling your face. If you know who this person is, they're going to give you a fake ass apology. Okay. And it's because they want what you got, boo. Yep. I'm trying to tell you no facts at the bottom of the deck. They can't figure out what you're doing, how you're doing it. How do you have this money? How do you have this new love? How are you making things shake and move for yourself? How are you supporting yourself? Okay. Never has the facts makes up shit and lies. Another um, message I'm hearing is that this person wants to come towards you to try to like get some information on you so that they can make up a lie and so that lie can seem more realistic. <clears throat> My throat chakra is going in and out. Of course, people don't want me to talk, but I'm going to keep talking. Um, it's like this person wants to gather some type of factual information so that they can keep running with a rumor or keep running with a lie so that they can be made out to be like, I'm hearing, you know, top tier, you know, the better leader, the better person. This person is pressed, boo. They pressed. What's going on? What is going on here? Yeah, they're constantly stalking you. I mean, <laughs> everything you do everything researching you studying you getting info i can't make it up but see you're private you post what you want to post and you put out there what you want to put out there okay you move in silent and that's what you have been guided to do because you are you know coveted you are protected heavily protected baby and um this person i'm trying to tell you they're they're combing through comments they're literally listening to videos you know over and over trying to get information that they feel as though they didn't pick up the first time they're studying your photos i mean it's sick is what i'm hearing it's sick and they're still getting nowhere <laughs> and they still
still getting nowhere. And this, I'm hearing this person low key, you know, frustrated. Yep. Because God is still working for you, even if, you know, they can't see it because they're being cloaked from it. God is still working in your life. You're still happy. You're still blessed. <laughs> impersonator. This impersonator. That's the only thing they can do is talk shit. And every time they, you know, say something negative about you or, you know, try to send you negative energy, it just goes back on this person. That's all, poo. <laughs> That's what it do. Exactly. This is a obsessive lover. So someone that wants to be with you, okay? Wants to be like you, wants to be with you. I mean, this person is dangerously toxic. Mm -hmm. And they're pissed because you will not accept their offer. You don't want anything to do with them. You know, some of these people, they try to astral project and come into your dreams to try to have, you know, sex with you to try to siphon your energy that way, but they're blocked. They're unhealthy, they're possessive, and they're karmic. <laughs> and I feel like you know this. Okay? And this person is pissed because they have, you know, no access. Access denied is what I'm hearing. Yeah. You done moved on. I mean, what part are they not understanding? You moved to a different city, state, country, but the sole message is that you moved on. You knew that this person was karmic. They're no good. Okay, this could have been someone that was in and out. Someone that never took you serious. This could have been someone that you were in a relationship with. You're not dealing with this person anymore. A lot of you guys, you know, have learned this lesson. Some of you guys are with your higher level soulmate, Twin Flame. Okay? But this person is dangerously obsessed. And that's why you have so much protection that's why your um, life is being cloaked. Your opportunities are being cloaked from whoever this is, is what I'm hearing. An offer? Yeah, I didn't, what did I say, y'all? I swear I do the cards for y'all. Because if I sat up here and got up on here and really just said the message, you know what I'm saying? You have people that are skeptics. So let me just say that, you know, say what I say and show the cards. Thank you, spirit. Fake flexing. Like I said, this person is going through financial ruin, okay? Ax rich, flosses, money, acts fancy, shows off, but they're broke. They're broke. <laughs> and they're trying to, you know, see what you're doing. I mean, this person is on you 24-7. I mean, it's crazy. I'm hearing, do they have a energetic cord connected to you? No, it has been severed. It has been banished. This, this person's energy, whoever this person is, has been banished. I'm trying to tell you, God is cloaking you from this person. Like you have nothing to worry about, okay? But this person needs your energy. You're an empress, you're an emperor. No, you're a queen bee, you're, you're a king. And they need your magical energy, your healing energy. But um, you're not fucking with this person. Period, point blank. <laughs> and they need to keep up this facade until they come up with a strategy to try to get back into your energy. They can't get back into your energy through astral projection or, you know, through your dream state. They can't get back into your energy through the physical they can't do sexual rituals anymore to try to get back into your energy. They can't do sex magic. They're completely blocked on all sides. <laughs> so then they want to come in and try to, you know, give you a fake ass offer so that they can, you know, get their money back. It's not going to happen. This person needs to let it go and take that L. You're shining and you will continue to shine. This person did take from you. And it did stagnate your business. It did stagnate your money. But see, God gave you other opportunities to help you financially until, you know, the business that you really are still pouring into will balance out. You will get your money back and you will also get theirs. <laughs> okay. They just gave you their blessings is what I'm hearing. 
Your light irritates their demons. Of course, keep shining. Okay? Keep shining is what I'm hearing. But they have to keep this facade up, okay? All the karmics that they were, you know, having sex with, you know, dealing with, they can't get nothing energetic from them. So they're trying to really brainstorm a plan to come towards you, but they're blocked. And you know who this is already, so... <laughs> Oh, Lord, they're not going to get back in. Threatening. Exactly, I told you. They want to smile in your face. They want to act like they're cool with you. They want to act like they're in love with you. They want to act like, you know, you guys are buddy, buddy friends. They want to act like, oh, we're family. Okay, so it could be family, lovers, friends, because they need you. Yeah, all the while behind your back, they're talking shit. <laughs> They're talking shit and you're not pressed, worried, or even bothered by this person, okay? This is a straight up weirdo that's infatuated with you, that's infatuated with your energy, that they will never, ever, 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 ever get again. So it is what it is. You can't stop somebody from stalking you and looking at you, unfortunately. Um, on some platforms you can, but on other platforms you just can't, okay? Like on YouTube. You can block people from commenting, but you can't stop them from watching you. Okay, thank you for the um, help with the revenue. Okay, that's what you say. <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> Looking you up, okay? Looking you up. Yeah, they're trying to look you up to see if you're blocked. If they're blocking you, if whatever spell work, negative energy, evil eyeing, or for some, they're trying to send you some type of energy atta um, entity attachment to attach to your energy, but you're not blocked at all, baby. You're still moving. You're happy. You're thriving. You're progressing forward. You're shining. <laughs> what they thought. Yeah, I told you. They're stalking you constantly. Okay. But you're protected. You are protected, you know, from your benevolent beings, but you also protect yourself because some of you guys are a white witch, okay? Yep. This person is like, they're pressed, they're stressed, <laughs> they're depressed, okay? Because, like, this person was able to take from your energy in some type of way, and they can't no more. And I'm trying to tell you, everything that they built off of your energy... <laughs> is crumbling okay so you know i'm hearing they're going to be unemployed if they're a business owner their business will be taken from them i mean this wasn't blessed by god this was stolen from them from your energy from a part of your inheritance and um it's being given back to you and this person is reaping you know, the consequences of trying to continue to siphon off of you for even siphoning off of you in the first place, okay? Taking what is ordainedly and righteously yours. If this person puts on a front for everybody else, but they are, you know, I'm hearing willy, like wallowing, but wasting away in the inside, yep. <laughs> Seriously. So let's get a little bit more about this fake ass flexor that is obsessed over you that needs your energy. This person needs your energy. Their whole, you know, business, persona, employment situation, money situation is definitely falling apart because you are no longer going to allow this person in your life. You know who this person is. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you know exactly who this person is and you are grateful to know. You know why? Because you banish this person. You block this person. You energetically block this person. You psychically block this person. Okay? You banish this person out of your energy and um, you're regaining your own energy back. You're regaining your blessings, you know, your inheritance and what you've lost, you will regain back and theirs. I'm trying to tell you, you will. That is a guarantee is what I'm hearing. Okay. Let's see what's going on. What that say, y'all? Money, 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 money. Money. So even if you 
are, you know, struggling a little bit or you're stagnating a little bit when it comes to your finances, it is going to like balance out, okay? For others of you, you know, you have multiple streams of income, but all of your streams of income is going to be balanced and they're going to increase, trust me. Didn't I say it's guaranteed? You're going to get your blessings plus more plus theirs because they, you know, continue to try you. Of course, God gave them, you know, opportunity to pay you back, gave them opportunity to make it right. They didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. They're stubborn. They're arrogant. They're belligerent. They're narcissistic. They really thought that they were going to get away with this. They really thought that they were also going to come back into your energy because this person is they're planning. <laughs> Their plan is going to fail. I mean, if you're looking at this, your plan is going to fail. Like, why do you keep trying? <laughs> why do you keep trying? Someone is very stuck in their ways. Yeah. And that's why they are falling. I'm getting falling from grace. If they had any type of like spiritual ranking or any type of gifts, they're being stripped of them. And they're being given to you. I'm trying to tell you the blessings, the gifts, they're being given to you. Okay, for some of you, if you're in a divine union or a high level soulmate union, it's being given to you and your person. Because this person affected you and your person. Your money. Your health. Your love life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, this person is pressed. They don't know what they're going to do. Nope. They got bills, 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 bills. Okay, they're burdened. Yeah, this person really want to come through and start some drama. They really want to do it. They really want to do it. But, you know, you're not pressed. You're not worried. You're not bothered. And you're protected. This person's obsessed. They're obsessed um, with trying to come through and even smile in your face, but then start some type of altercation to try to get into your energy. Like, I'm hearing anger. If you was to, like, let this person back in and you would allow this person to anger you, they would siphon off of your power that way as well. Woo, that's a new one, okay. Yeah, because whatever gen attachment, or when it comes to gens, they enter you in certain ways. They're able to suck off of you in certain ways. Anger, porn, lust, okay. Um, when you don't have you know, spiritual strength, when you don't work on your spiritual strength, okay, when you invite them in, and um, when you don't protect yourself, okay? But yeah, that's, that's why this person wants to come in and start some drama. They want to get you angry so that they can attach some type of form of a gen. If they can't do it sexually, they want to do it by getting you upset. This person is definitely, you know, they're trying it <laughs> is what I'm hearing. But they're not going to win. Nope. No, they won't. Let's keep going. Yeah, you're celebrating, or you soon will be, babes. Don't worry, don't stress. Everything is going to work out. There will be a reason to celebrate. It will. You will. Even if you don't see it now, some of you, you're already celebrating. Put yourself where you belong. You will, okay? You're a healer. For some of you, you're a life coach, a therapist, okay? You help people. And um, if you have a business, to where you're helping people, that business will pick up. It will increase when it comes to your finances and your clientele, your supporters. It will. This person, you know, they try to hex it and curse it, but it's going back onto their life. I'm trying to tell you, you're going to get your blessings, inheritance, plus theirs. Okay? For some of you, you know, you've healed with this therapist card. Someone needs to visit a therapist. You healed. And that's why your life is balancing out. You're, you're remaining in the state of balance, peace, and inner solace is what I'm hearing. And this is why this person can no longer take from you. When you're heartbroken, when you're angry, when you're lustful, this person was able to take from you. They was able to come in and basically siphon off of your energy, but you have leveled up and risen above that, baby. Okay? Like I said, some of you guys are in partnerships. Higher level soulmate twin flames. And this person definitely cannot come back. It, it, it's a wrap. <laughs> and because both of you, you and your partner have ascended, healed, you know, spiritually ranked up. They can't touch you. Okay? Let's get some more. But you will be celebrating continuously is what I'm hearing. You will. Okay? Yep. Because you left this person behind. I, I, 
that's what I'm truly feeling. <laughs> like you do not deal with this person. You do not associate with this person. For some of you, this could be a, um, your child's father. I was about to say son's father. So you can have a son with this person. But it could be a child's father. You're not worried at all. Period, point blank. Okay. You've left this person behind. You've been left this person behind. This person could have children. They don't give a shit about their children. All they care about is themselves and coming towards you to try to like, you know, attach something to you so that they can, you know, come up when it comes to their finances. That's all this person worry about is money. Yep. Status, clout. <laughs> Um, this person don't know where you are, honestly, especially if you move and if they know the state, they don't know where you are in that state. Okay. Yeah. This person wanted to come towards you, start some drama, you know, get you all riled up to just blackmail you in some type of way to try, try to get some type of facts. Didn't I say that? To try to get some type of, you know, facts that they can use to basically, Make it seem like their lies and their rumors are facts about you, but it's not. And people are realizing that this person is a straight, you know, ass wipe is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Just like that. And they need to go to therapy. They really do need help. This person has massive psychological issues. Bipolar is also what I'm hearing. Of course, they're a narcissist. They could have multiple mental issues like there could be bipolar narcissistic and you know they have other mental issues on top of it okay that they are reluctant on getting help for period but i feel like with this therapist card you've healed you're healing you've cleansed this person out of your energy you know in all aspects you did cord cutting banishing spells like protection rituals it's over <laughs> This person, man, they're sick in the head. They're, they are dangerously um, obsessed, though. They're sick in the head. Okay? But um, you're protected. And keep protecting yourself is what Spirit is saying. Okay? Hold on. Let me fix these cards. This could have definitely been someone that um, wanted a future with you. Okay? Or could have lied. I'm, I'm hearing gaslighted you. To make it seem like they wanted a future with you. They only wanted a future with you so they can keep, basically trap you. So that they can keep siphoning off of you. And to deplete you to the point where, you know, they could pretty much unalive you is what I'm hearing for some of you. Um, please don't get on here and talk about some, oh, this is my divine masculine. This is not a divine masculine. <laughs> this is a fucking karmic. This is a karmic masculine or a karmic soulmate. Let's be real here. All right, or a karmic feminine. This is not a divine masculine or a divine feminine. No person of the divine would do no shit like this. This is why I preach in my video, some of you guys are twin flames and some of you are not, and it's perfectly fine. It's only 144,000. I need that to sink in, my babies. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's okay. If you are not a twin flame, perfectly fine. But it's only 144000 That's it. Okay? If you are going through this and you are a soulmate, this is a karmic-ass soulmate. A psychopath. <laughs> like, let's be real here. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah. This person wants to come in and illusionize you. But this person also tried to come into your dreams. They're blocked. <laughs> they cannot energy harvest. That's what I keep hearing. Energy harvest. Energy harvest. Yeah. They're stuck. Where they are, and that's where they, and that is well, they will remain. I can't even talk. Mm -hmm. That is where they will remain. Okay. Let's see what else. This energy is monotonous. It's annoying. It's aggravating. Yeah, this person is constantly watching you. Constantly. <laughs> Could be a Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, yeah, you're. With, I'm trying to tell you, you're with your um, divine counterpart, or your divine counterpart is coming towards you. This emperor, mm -hmm. they're wanting to work with you because you're a high priestess. Yep, and you're blocking out whoever this <clears throat> person is that's in denial when it comes to them thinking that they can come and like try to block you. Like <laughs> this is insane. You've been moved forward. You're you're getting wish fulfillment. Look at this, like. 
You have an emperor that wants to work with you, that's coming towards you, or they already have, okay? You will be victorious with this person. You are the high priestess, okay? You know all, you just don't say all, okay? You have, you know, this person wanted to block. I'm hearing a business. Maybe you have a spiritual business. They want to block this. They want to block you. They want to block your intuition. They want to block your emperor, okay? They're in fucking denial with the two of swords, but you've already walked away. It's like, you know, like, what the hell? Get a grip, dude. You're already getting wish fulfillment. <laughs> your wishes will be be granted. It will be fulfilled. Like, they can't stop nothing, boo. Exactly. They're just mad because they're being rejected. I'm telling you, at all avenues. Whatever they're trying to do, they're being rejected. If they're trying to come into your dream state, they're being rejected. If they're trying to send you black magic, they're being rejected. Like, <laughs> it's just backfiring. It's like this person sends you... It's like this person sends you magic and then they wait to see if it's going to happen. And then, you know, next thing you know, something in their life blows up or their money has a massive decrease or, you know what I'm saying, they're getting into a car accident or next thing you know, they wind up in the hospital or it affects someone that they know. And then, you know, they're pissed and upset at themselves, psychopath. But this person has the nerve to play the victim. Like, shit is absolutely insane. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Yeah, I told you they're watching to see if, you know, they're going to sabotage your spiritual business. They're going to sabotage your masculine, you know, money. No, <laughs> no. Okay, you're over here celebrating, getting money, or you will be. I'm trying to tell you, you're in for a lot of money, okay? If you don't see it now, you will see it in the future. Please keep going. Please hold your vision. Please have faith, okay? The divine is working for you, not against you, okay, babies? It's this person working against you. But also, if you're with your masculine, your masculine is also protecting you, okay, energetically, as well as your benevolent ones. But yeah, this person, <laughs> they throw magic at you. They throw bad energy. For some, they throw uh, entities. They even try to come in your dreams, boo. But they're being blocked. And this idiot, you know, I feel like they, they realize that they are being blocked sometimes and that it does come back, but they still try it. They still keep doing it. Because they need to keep up this facade of being rich, living a life of luxury. Like, no, motherfucker, it's coming down, accepted <laughs> in the future. Yes, like, this person don't have no future. When it comes to you, you are very abundant, whether you're with someone or not, okay? If they affected your money, don't worry. You're getting it back, baby. You're the nine of pentacles. For some of you, you're single, sexy, and successful. Okay? And you have an emperor energy coming towards you that you will be with. You know? Higher level soulmate, emperor, divine, masculine. But you have, you know, this... It could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be an Aries, Sag, Leo that is, like, trying to see if they are going to fuck up your future. They're not. Like, dude. Get a fucking grip. <laughs> this could be a, a female too. Y'all gotta put yourself where you belong. This this person, man, they not stopping. For some of them, they're not gonna stop until they are unalived. I mean, shit, then maybe we can stop getting this storyline, okay? Because you're still moving forward victoriously. Like, they're not stopping nothing. And they're seeing that too. <laughs> and it's making them mad. And it's making them try to strategically... I'm sorry, strategically, tragic, okay, maybe, you know, I don't know, I made up a word, tragically. <laughs> strategically, you know, try to come up a plan to um, come towards you, to cloak the, their energy, <laughs> to cloak themselves. But you don't give a shit what, what type of energy that they cloak, you know who this is. They may even try to send somebody else towards you, and you'll pick up on that motherfucker too. But if you're already in a relationship like you're not going to be friends like yeah it's over like if you're in a relationship with your divine counterpart like you're you're you'll know man you'll know even if it's a female and you're a female or if it's a male and you're a male and they try to send this person towards you you'll know you'll just energetically know <laughs> you'll be like nope i'm good okay if they think that you're single and they try to send a male towards you you're not even going to give them the time of day because you're with someone. Like this person is trying it, <laughs> trying it. All right. They won't even get a reply. Okay. You vet 
all of your friends that you choose to allow in your energy from here on out. Because, you know, you've been through that, you know, fake friend phase, okay? And uh, you're not going through that shit. And some friends, you know, sat up here and did magic on you or magic on your person. And, um, uh, uh, yeah, everybody's getting vetted. So if this person thinks that they are going to send some type of female or masculine energy, you know, towards you to try to be your friend, it ain't going to work either. Uh, uh, yeah, this person's heartbroken. This person needs to seek help. Like, it's ridiculous. But what did I say? In order for this magic to work, you have to be heartbroken. You have to be um, promiscuous. Or you have to have anger issues. That's the truth. That is how gens attach themselves to you. I'm peeping game to y'all right now. Okay? So when you have... Like, say if you have a child with this person. And you have to deal with this person. Stay calm. Stay balanced. Don't get angry, okay? If they try to advance themselves at you, continue to push them away, okay? And um, let that heartbreak go, okay? Because that's one way how they're still attaching themselves to you, okay? Maybe you're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities to, like, let the past go. Let it go, please, so that we can give you your financial inheritance, okay? Okay? Yep, that's what I'm hearing. This person is trying to see if, you know, you're heartbroken. They're trying to see if, you know, you're still going to, you know, give them some, you know, some some good good. They're trying to get in there. And I'm trying to tell you, if, it, if you know that this person did all of this, <laughs> took from you, um, meant you no good, whether this is a baby father, baby mama, friend, you know, X. This person wants to send someone else, but it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. You've already healed your, 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 look, you already healed. Like, I, that's what I really feel. So the next thing that they want to do, because you healed your heart, okay, the next way they that they can get in is anger. Because you damn sure ain't going to give up no damn pussy or dick. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be motherfucking real here, okay? This person is shit out of luck. I mean, what do they want here? What do they want? We have strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, Virgo. That's also what I'm hearing. Cancer. You're celebrating or you will be celebrating. Like, this person pressed. <laughs> This person pressed, okay? Um, let me see. Real quick, and then I'm gonna get advice. Let's see, a little bit more, and then I'm not gonna make this too long. Yeah, this person wants to come in. I'm trying to tell you, they want to sell you a dream so that they can basically bind themselves they need to bind themselves in order for their you know fake ass fantasy of a fake ass rich life can keep going <laughs> this is a dark spiritualist man or woman for some this person could be married okay for others they're single but yeah i'm trying to tell you they want to attach an entity to you and it's only three ways you can do it sex anger okay and heartbreak, you know, not healing those wounds. It's only three ways. When you heal those three ways, what's he gonna do? <laughs> Period, they're blocked. I can't make this shit up. But they're trying to figure out a way. They're trying. Yeah, they even want to have a baby with you. Like this motherfucker is insane. <laughs> you could have a child with this person, that's what I'm saying. For some of y'all, this could be your baby daddy, baby mama. This motherfucker is insane. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> but you block this person, okay? If you do have a child, shit. If you have a child with this person, your child don't even... If they are, like, older, they don't give a fuck about this person. They care about you, mommy, or daddy, okay? Some of y'all single fathers, all right? They don't give a shit about this person. 
Because you are the one that's giving them love, protection, care, nurturing. Okay? Whoever this, you know, baby daddy is, or baby mama, they ain't shit. They ain't shit. And Archangel Michael is protecting your child from this person. Definitely if this is a baby mama, baby daddy. Okay? <clears throat> but um, if that's not the case, this person wants to try to have a child with you so that they can stay in your life. It, this person's absolutely delusional like <laughs> you just I, I, <laughs> all you do is laugh you know you get a couple laughs yeah they want to put a love spell on you yeah they've been trying that's what this that's what i told you that's what the um seven of cups is trying to put a love spell on you trying to do some hoogly boogly i mean it's being blocked like I said, this could be your child's mother, child's father. It's not, it's not working. It's being blocked. They want to sell you a fantasy that will never come true. And um, you don't fuck with this person, okay? You're not going back in a cycle with this person either, okay? All of that love spell, whatever, that's going back to them. That's why their finances is fucked up. If this is someone that is not your baby mama or baby father, this is someone that you don't want nothing to do with, okay? Whether you were dealing with this person in the past or you rejected this person or this person ghosted or rejected you, whatever. You know, this person wants to put a love spell on you so that they can have a child with you to keep connected to you. This person's sick as fuck. <laughs> like, people are insane. Let's get some advice, spirit, some advice. Some advice about this person. Some advice. Thank you. Yeah, they want you to self-sabotage, you know. They want you to go against your morals, your ethics, your intuition, yeah, so that they can gain some abundance that you have coming. I'm trying to tell you, you have way more abundance coming or your abundance is coming, okay? I'm trying to tell you, do not look at your reality and think that things are not panning out for you behind the scenes. They are. Trust me. Time is linear, okay? Just keep being patient. Keep working towards your goals, your dreams, your visions. Keep having faith. All right, this person is sabotaged. They, they can't do shit. They're trying to sabotage, you know, your, your future. Of course, we see this with the Seven of Swords. It's not gonna happen, okay? Continue to remain open to new possibilities, you know, um, new opportunities is what I'm hearing, and your abundance. Do not close your heart off, all right? Always cleanse your so chakras, but they can't attach themselves anymore to your um, sacral chakra nor your solar plexus. It's done. <laughs> like... It's, it's, it's done. Yeah. You've isolated yourself from this person. You don't fuck with this person no more. This person is also being isolated. Like, nobody wants to deal with this person. This person could definitely be a loner by choice because they're a tyrant. Like, what the fuck? They're narcissistic. Don't nobody want to be around this person. Yeah. Don't nobody want to be around this person. Your abundance is coming this winter. Period. Okay? You will see a financial increase this winter. Okay, I'm hearing, you know, bet on it. You will. This person is in isolation. They could be dealing with a new love. And I'm going to try to tell you, if this is a baby father or a baby mama, they're dealing with someone that is fucking pressed about you. It's like, you don't even know who this new love is and you could care fucking less. Okay, you're moving on. A lot of you guys with your higher level soulmate, your twin flame. Okay, or you're just moving on. Like, what the actual fuck? Yeah, even if your, you know, your business or, you know, your inheritance or, you know, your progression is slow and steady, slow and steady wins the race, baby. Don't give up, okay? Because it will pick up. It will. Excuse me, confirmation, Bert. I'm going to leave it right there. This is your reading. You still have a psychopath stalking you, okay? And they are going to try to send a friend. They're going to even try to cloak their energy and come in towards you. This could be a baby father. They're going to try to be nice to you. They're going to try to do something. And they're going to try to, like, get in where they fit in. But um, keep your boundaries up, okay? Don't forget who this person really is. You've seen this person. You know. Okay? Continue to protect yourself because we are protecting you. Um, but, yeah, this is pretty much the message. I mean, you're on the right path. You're doing great. Your money is coming in, okay? Even if you've been struggling a little bit, it's because of this prick, for real. It is. 
amongst other trash ass friends that was also, you know, doing magic and evil eyeing, but they all are getting their ass handed to them. So don't worry. Okay. Please be strong. Please stay strong. Know that I'm praying for you and I'm always sending you beautiful energy, baby. You're amazing. Keep knowing that, sitting in that confidence to know that. I love you to life, babies. Until next time. Okay. Bye.